Welcome back everybody. Today we will be making John B's house from outer banks. So we're gonna take some birchwood planks and some dark oak planks with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine across. Then you're gonna go on to the land. So it's gonna be the front house. Two, three, and four blocks. Then you're gonna bring this across 14 blocks like that. And 24 blocks down. Then you're gonna go 23 blocks to the left. And 28 blocks. And then you're gonna take the birch and do one layer on top all around. Perfect. So once you're done this, you're gonna go ahead and grab some stripped birch wood and uh, some dark oak wood stairs. Now, by the way, guys, John B's house, it isn't the prettiest as you can see from the show and the picture, but I'm gonna try to make it to the best of my abilities to to honor this legendary location so you're gonna go ahead and do three blocks three block gap and uh, continue that to the end and the reason why I chose birch wood uh, planks is to get that uh, that wooden panel texture and I think the house is like white sort of whitish in real life but uh, I went for the beige just to give it more that beach vibe so then you're gonna take your your birch stripped birch and place it like this perfecto all right so for the side you're gonna put a column of virtual planks then you're gonna add a second layer and then you're gonna take a stripped birch and bring it four across and one two three in height like this for the window of the kitchen actually oops I made a mistake my bad this is what you're gonna do yeah Now fill this in. Awesome. All right, so for this side, you're gonna go two, three, four, five, six, basically all the way to the top. Add a second layer, bring it up. Take the stripped birch wood, bring it across, and oops, like this another pillar in the center there we go and for the side you're just gonna fill it up with some bridge planks there we go all right so now we're gonna do the left side of the house so we're gonna add a second layer then here three four five six seven eight nine ten blocks so this is gonna be the office of John P's dad then you go to one add four blocks then one again, add three blocks of stripped birchwood, and one again and add four blocks. So this is gonna be the window for a bedroom. The one uh, the th by three is gonna be the bathroom, and fill that all up to the top, perfecto. So you go two, three, four, five, and do a four block window. Then you're gonna go five again. Leave a gap for the door one and a four block window then bring it across with three blocks and do the same thing on the other side awesome so now you're gonna go one two three four five for a five block window one two three four then skip it for an entrance you're gonna go three and three again and you're just gonna end it off with four blocks to connect awesome and uh, here you're gonna take out these three blocks because that's gonna be for the chimney, aka fireplace. So bring it all up and we'll get started on the roof. Awesome. Alright. So for the roof, you're gonna take some smooth sandstone uh, slab and smooth stone slab. And I went for the gray because, as you can see from this picture, it's pretty gray. <laughs> so then every block you're gonna go up by one slab until you reach the center and you're gonna descend by going one slap every block as well and by the way guys this is just gonna be part one of John B's house because I'm very excited to build the interior and part three is gonna be the landscaping so here you're just gonna do the exact same thing every block you're gonna go up by one slab in height
Alright, we're gonna stop there to measure uh, with the other side. So for now we're just gonna fill this in. Not make it too complicated around until there, yeah. Bring this across for now and then add the gray roof. I'm gonna bring it up to here, perfect. And then with the smooth stone, we're just gonna continue from this elevation. Yeah. So every block go up by one slab. As simple as it gets, guys. Here we're actually gonna take it off. Yeah, it looks much better like that. And then Extend this. Oh, we can't place it there too bad. There we go. Fill in the gap. Boom. And boom. This. I don't know if that looks better or not. We might tweak that later. Anyways. Slowly, slowly. We're going to make our way up to the top. Voila. Now we're just going to fill this up. There we go. Awesome. Okay, that looks kind of bad from this side. Just gonna put that there, maybe, yeah. And add this there. By the way, that smooth stone slab on uh, the top of the roof, I'm gonna take that out. And uh, so you can fill that up with the birch planks and just extend this all the way into the back wall. So yeah, there you go, I took it out. Awesome. It's taking nice shape, taking nice shape. So here what you're gonna do is the exact same thing on the other side. So you're gonna take a smooth stone, uh, sandstone slab, bring it up and down, and then you're gonna fill in the gap with some birch wood planks. By the way guys, I think the house in real life, it's actually like white, white, like wood panels. But I went for the birch just to give that uh, well, that wooden texture because quartz would have looked kind of off. So here, you're going to leave a, th a gap of three blocks for the deck. And right in between the window and the door, you're just going to connect it like that. So this is going to be the side porch deck area. And uh, the other side, well, it's going to be the back facing the... The marsh. There we go. So add some birchwood stairs inverted like this to give a bit more uh, detail to the porch deck. And then you're just gonna bring that all around. And also, as you can see in this picture, um, the floor is kind of gray. So I went for this stone slab. Yeah, you can use whatever you want to. Awesome, so now you're gonna bring this up into one block uh, under the, the smooth sandstone slab. And you're just gonna bring it across to the other side. Awesome. So then here you're gonna do the exact same thing, bring it all the way across to here, connect it with the back wall. Just a second, one, two, three. Amazing, then you're gonna leave a five block gap. Boom. Awesome. And then you can go on the other side and do a five block gap as well. And another five block gap. So on the left, there's gonna be uh, the stairs to descend, like from the picture you can see. Boom. Anyways, here, another five block gap. Boom. And another five block gap to encase that window and we're gonna also add stairs right there so if it's looking a bit modern you could use this as inspiration for a modern house but we're just gonna try to make it fit the theme so we're gonna um, put the whole uh, border of the deck roofing <laughs> with some sandstone slabs and you're gonna take this for the, the framing on the inside as you can see from this picture so yeah, I'm just gonna bring this all across to give those like wooden beams 
holding up the the roof of the, the deck so here you're not going to fill that up because that's going to be the the chimney and yeah and then extend this as well awesome there we go we're just going to leave like that for now i'm going to get to the chimney later anyways for the top it, it looks kind of trash so we're going to take uh, some light gray carpet to replicate the uh, the same color that we have used on the main roof you're gonna bring this all across except on the smooth sandstone slabs sorry if i'm talking a bit fast and yeah you're gonna do a little gap there for the chimney so just all around except the smooth sandstone now oh, that's pretty nice look at i say i'm a pro <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding so here you're gonna take some bricks and some brick stairs and we're gonna make the chimney like you see from this picture Awesome. And uh, I did a lot of research to try to get as many accurate details as I could from the legendary John D's uh, house. So here, I'm just going to do like that for now. And then bring it up. And here we're going we're gonna to take the stairs. Yeah, and the smooth sandstone slabs. Awesome. And for the chimney top, why don't we use an anvil to get the a unique shape out of it you don't have to obviously but I feel like it adds a bit of detail where it's needed and now for uh, the, and now for the, the extra details of the porch so this is going to be the entrance of the side of the house so we're gonna do something like this to mimic some doors and for this side gonna do it right here Perfect, awesome. So now we're gonna take some uh, some glass for uh, some railing. We're not gonna do your typical railing. We're gonna actually use some light gray carpet. Why? Once again, why not, guys? You don't have to do this, but I'm just trying to, to make it as accurate as possible. And John B does not have glass railing on his house. So. Anyways. I wish the carpet were a bit thinner because that looks a little off but you gotta be happy with what you have <laughs> anyway so you're just gonna have the railing everywhere except for the doorways and yeah okay taking shape now for the staircase you're gonna bring that five across although later I will make some indents to make it look a bit more appealing to the eye and now here just gonna add the dark uh, oak stairs to replicate the foundation of the house there we go okay it's not looking too bad we're gonna maybe add some railings out of these sandstone walls okay how about the uh, some birch okay yeah, that, that, that's starting to look better yeah yeah not too bad jump cut so here you see i added an indent with those birch stairs that looks much much better so there we go so now here for the back as you can see from the picture the stairs are uh, lighter so we're gonna use the birch the birch uh, strip birch wood, and I'm also gonna make an indent on this stair as well which I will show you once I'm done building these so for this side we won't you don't have to put the, the sandstone wall I think it's a bit too much but yeah you see indent boom easy pause it and uh, yeah shouldn't be too hard so now we're gonna get to the details once i finish this railing and by those details i mean uh, the windows the window shutters and the doorways there we go all right so we're gonna take some uh, some birch doors and uh to fit with the theme of the house and we're also gonna grab some uh, some virtual planks. So maybe leave this here. This no, no. disgusting. We don't want that. Uh, we're gonna have a stair, nah, like that. You know what? We're gonna indent the door actually into the wall. So bring this porch out a bit with the smooth sandstone slab or whatever block you have chosen. Do the same exact thing on this side. 
stare and full walk. All right, it's not too bad anyway. So for the windows, I will add some gray, not light gray. See, I chose light gray here, but it just doesn't match at all. And some uh, black shutters, as you can, I think they're called shutters from the from the picture. So yeah, don't don't add light gray unless you, you like how it looks. I personally don't think it matches with the shutter color, so I will change it to gray. So just do all the windows like this. There we go. You see, gray looks much, much better in, in my opinion, obviously. So now we're gonna add those final details from the front of the house, that little wiring that you see when approaching John B's house from the front. So we're gonna take uh, some birch gates, some birch, uh, what is it called? Fences, and yeah, just bring this up to make the little power thingamabob that he has on the front of his house so like this and add a bridge button to add that, uh, that extra bit of oomph so here it's gonna be the the little wire not wire like cable tube and gonna bring that up to the top. You don't have to choose use this, but I'm just making the most out of the blocks that we have. And for the doorway, we we'll, let's keep it like that for now. Next episode, we will do the interior with as much as detail as we can. So we're gonna do uh, two layer thick walls. So one on the outside, one on the inside. I did a lot of research, anyways. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next one. <laughs>